Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Microsoft has improved the dictate function. I've already done two prior videos on this. One, using this in the desktop apps, which it still works. They've actually improved that, and that is what this video is about. But I've also done a video showing the dictate command using Word for the web. But this video is specifically about the new features that they've added in dictate. So I have Word running right now. And it works in Word for the desktop, and it works in Microsoft Outlook for the desktop. They haven't brought this to PowerPoint for the desktop yet with the new features, but Dictate is still there. So in Word, here's Dictate. It'll be the same place in PowerPoint. But in Word, when I click this, I now get a pop-up on my screen of floating toolbar. So watch this. You don't get that floating toolbar in PowerPoint yet, but you still have Dictate in PowerPoint. Look, it's already turned on, so let me turn it off. Here are the two new features that they've added. So first of all, this is new that it floats around here. There's your microphone to turn it on and off. Right here, your settings. When I come here, you now have auto punctuation. You've got a profanity filter, which I'm not testing, but trust me, it works. And you also have voice commands. So let's look at the voice commands and the auto punctuation right now. I'm going to turn the auto punctuation off. So this is how it works in PowerPoint. It's not running, which means when I start recording, Susan, are you going to the meeting next week? Question mark. New line. I have to say all the punctuation marks myself. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to highlight this, delete it. I'm going to go turn on auto punctuation. Turn on record and let's give this a shot again. And then I'm going to throw in some commands just to show you how cool this feature is now. Susan, are you going to the meeting next week? New paragraph. I'm hoping we discuss the budget for 2022. Does anyone know if Charles has updated the spreadsheet? New paragraph. Let's test some voice commands using characters and symbols. New paragraph. www.chrismenardtraining.com New line. Forward slash. Colon. Backslash. Semicolon. Open brace. Close brace, paragraph mark. All right, that's enough. I, I hope you see that it's working. I'll put the full blown list of all the symbols that you can do in my YouTube description. And I'm also going to do a blog post about this, which you can get on chrismenardtraining.com. I'm going to stop recording. Close, good enough. One last item. Outlook email, there it is. Hey, this is Chris Menard. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about this video, please put them in the comments box below and have a wonderful day. Thank you.